The stray dog, Benji, heads back home with a pheasant in her mouth but blunders into the territory of a cougar. Instead of being afraid, Benji drops the food but dashes toward the cougar and barks loudly at her. The cougar, unwilling to back down, shows her fierce fangs in response. Benji doesn't retreat but continues to provoke her. The cougar gradually loses patience, and she beats the dog mercilessly. Benji starts to falter, crawling and rolling. She looks back at the cougar and quickly returns to the den. Picking up a cougar cub, she runs toward the adult cougar again. It turns out that Benji is helping these cubs find a mother. When she returns to the female cougar, an airplane suddenly flies overhead. The mother cougar becomes instantly alert, and with her cub, they dart into the depths of the jungle. Benji looks up and realizes that her owner is searching for her. She becomes excited, but when she turns to see the pitiable cougar cub, a sense of compassion fills her heart. Benji retreats and hides under a tree to avoid her owner's sight. As the man's figure grows more distant, tears well up in Benji's eyes. Benji is the world's most famous dog star and is deeply loved by her owner. A few days ago, while shooting for a movie on a ship deck, a sudden violent windstorm swept across the ocean and capsized their entire ship. Benji's owner was lucky to be rescued, while Benji was washed onto an isolated island alone. After a night of exhaustion, Benji wakes up in a jungle, confused by everything around her. As she scratches herself, she sees a female cougar in the distance sunbathing. However, before she can react, a loud gunshot echoes in her ears, and the cougar instantly falls from the rock. Benji hastily runs toward the cougar, licking her wound and gently tugging at her ear in the hope of helping her escape, but the hunter arrives shortly and chases Benji away. Another gunshot ensues, and Benji can only watch as the man takes the cougar away. Later, Benji wanders into the deep woods, not knowing what to do. Suddenly, an airplane flies overhead. She starts barking and chasing for attention, but unfortunately, the aircraft misses her presence. Just then, some whimpering arises from a hidden corner. Out of curiosity, Benji approaches and finds four cougar cubs shivering there, remembering the female cougar shot dead. Benji realizes that these are her cubs. At first, Benji walks away because her owner is still looking for her. However, one of the cubs staggers from the den and follows her. Benji picks him up and carries him back to the den, preparing to leave again, but the cub stubbornly follows once more. Just then, she hears an eagle hovering in the sky, likely searching for food. Recognizing that the cubs are too young to protect themselves, Benji finally chooses to stay by their side. The cubs immediately take her as their mother, crawling over her body and playfully biting her. Feeling the pain, Benji gets irritated and barks at them but soon realizes that they are just hungry. She takes the cubs back to the den and picks some raspberries to feed them, but they reject the berries as they're not meat. Later, the gray cub crawls out of the den, whimpering about a hare that ran by. Left with no choice, Benji hastily chases after it. In a moment, she loses track, but following the scent, she catches the hare hiding in a corner. However, the dog calmly pets it instead of killing it and then walks away. Benji continues searching for food day and night. In a moment of desperation, she discovers the hunter's location, where she also spots two pheasants hanging from a rope. Cautiously, she crawls up the woodpile, snatches the food, and hastily escapes as if in an action movie. She returns to the den but finds the gray cub has been a troublemaker and is already out on a tree branch. Benji picks him up and throws the pheasant in for them to eat while she enjoys the raspberries. As night falls, Benji stays outside to guard the cubs while they sleep safely. However, being a dog star who is always in the limelight in front of people, Benji also becomes scared and shivers upon hearing the wolves howling in the woods. The following day, Benji sneaks back to the hunter's place to steal another pheasant but is caught immediately. The man ties her under the tree. She approaches the house, hoping to break free from the rope. However, when she sees a big serrated knife, Benji becomes scared and retreats under the tree. Suddenly, a wolf appears, causing her to panic. Fortunately, the hunter comes out and scares the wolf away. Later, Benji calms down and observes her surroundings. She walks around and uses the rope circling the campfire, waiting quietly for the wolf's return. When the hunter releases her from the rope and instructs her to stay by the pheasant while he cleans up the mess, Benji seizes the opportunity snatches the food, and immediately runs away. On the way, she comes across another cougar and intends to lead her to see the cubs, but the cougar attacks her, failing to get the cougar's cooperation. Benji has to return to the den with the cub. After some observation, she decides to take all four cubs along to find the cougar, hoping that the cougar will adopt them. However, Benji soon realizes that the mischievous gray cub is missing again. She goes back and finds the cub playing with the toad. They quickly resume their journey, unaware that a wolf has followed them waiting for the right moment to attack. Just then, the airplane flies overhead again. Benji quickly hides under a rock, looking sad, and her expression also confuses the cub. 
Benji chases away any animals that set their eyes on the cubs at night. Soon, she discovers the cougar's tracks again. As she tries to reach her, the wolf appears with fierce fangs, causing Benji to flee immediately. They chase each other through rivers, woods, and fields. And finally, Benji outsmarts the wolf by hiding in a bush. Escaping from the wolf, the group accelerates their journey. However, suddenly, another danger emerges. A big brown bear is leisurely enjoying his promenade and scratching his back. Benji and the cubs hide in the bushes, waiting for the bear to leave. But the naughty gray cub, showing his daredevilry, runs toward the bear and tries to scare him away with his babyish screams. The bear turns around, and his giant figure scares the cub into running back to Benji immediately. Benji is helplessly forced to face the brown bear. She barks loudly to grab his attention, and Benji manages to get rid of the brown bear in a chase and catch battle. Benji is leading the way and suddenly spots the cougar across the river again. She swiftly returns to the cubs and courageously guides them to cross the river. Following the scent, she discovers the cougar hiding in a corner. Quickly, she runs back to get the cubs, but they are afraid and stuck on a rock. With Benji's encouragement, all the cubs eventually manage to cross the stream. They continue to wander in the woods but find that the cougar is far gone. Suddenly, the airplane arrives again. This time, Benji's owner steps out of it, calling her name. Benji is on the verge of rushing to her owner, but when she looks at the cubs, she watches her owner board the airplane and leave once more. Just then, an eagle hovers in the sky, searching for food. Benji quickly returns to the cubs, but it's too late. The eagle has captured one of them. Her eyes fill with sadness as one of the cubs is taken away. Benji settles down the remaining two cubs and goes back to check on the gray one. Her momentary absence causes the eagle to return, intending to snatch another cub. She rushes back and barks fiercely to ensure the safety of the remaining three. Following the scent, Benji manages to relocate the cougar once again. She swiftly leads the cubs to the cougar, but the large animal remains incredibly alert and flees every time. Benji places the cubs in a safe spot and goes off to search for the cougar alone. This time, the cougar is thoroughly infuriated by Benji's persistent pursuit. Benji eventually achieves her goal with the cougar chasing her closely. She guides the cougar, running and pausing strategically. However, in a moment of confusion about the direction, Benji dashes into a bush, which turns out to be a steep cliff. She ends up hanging on the cliff with her bare paws, teetering on the edge with the possibility of slipping and falling at any moment. She struggles, using all her strength to climb back up to the top, but the cougar has vanished once again by the time she gets there. Her hopes are shattered once more. Benji returns to the cubs and is relieved to find them still safe. Suddenly, she hears the cougar's distant call and immediately rushes to investigate. She discovers that the cougar is located at the top of a mountain. Determinately, she climbs all the way up and barks at the cubs, trying to get them to look up and start climbing. However, the cubs are too small to notice Benji's signals. Faced with no choice, Benji retraces her steps and even drags a tree branch to block the way, just in case someone discovers the cubs that way. But just as Benji arrives to retrieve the cubs, the wolf is already closing in on them, ready to snatch them away. She circles her way behind the wolf, barking to distract him. However, the wolf doesn't fall for her trap and aggressively approaches the cubs. Upon seeing this, Benji bites the wolf's leg several times to make it stop, but the animal shakes her off and throws her to the ground. The cubs hide under a rock, but the wolf persists in its pursuit. Suddenly, Benji jumps on the wolf from the rock, enraging the wolf. She intentionally lets the wolf chase her in various directions. In the final moment, Benji leads the wolf into a bush and hides there, causing the wolf to be propelled off the steep cliff. After eliminating the danger, Benji returns to the cubs and finds them safe. She takes one of the cubs in her mouth and follows the trail she had previously found to locate the cougar. She risks slipping and falling to her death by climbing the steep cliff to the mountaintop. Benji pushes on and successfully delivers the first cub to the top, as she descends to retrieve the second one. Some gravel collapses, nearly causing her to fall. Several hours later, Benji manages to get three cubs to the top and collapses to the ground in exhaustion. Just then, the cougar appears, but upon seeing the three cubs, she turns and leaves because they are not her own offspring. Benji instantly stands up, witnessing her last hope of the cubs having a home shatter as she watches the cougar walk away. However, the cougar eventually returns, and Benji signals to her urging her to accept the cubs. Benji feels relieved upon knowing the cubs will have a mother who can take good care of them, and she quietly walks toward the cliff edge, patiently waiting for her owner to rescue her. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance, Adam.